Stop what you're doing. You aren't going to make $10,000 a month cleaning trash cans like that. I've been cleaning trash cans for over a year now and I've learned which equipment I need to maintain my business and how much equipment I actually need to maintain my business. Don't get me wrong. Of course, they have tons of different kinds of brands of pressure washers that you could get. You can get ones that aren't cheap, ones that are electric, ones that are gas. You can also get an unlimited amount of chemicals too. But I've only used seven things. First off, yes, of course, everybody's going to be mad in the comment section to hear that I use an electric pressure washer. I believe personally, it's way easier to store. It generates more power and more pressure than I'm ever going to need to clean a trash can or a car. And it's way too easy not to forget anything whenever I'm heading to a job. It's not like forgetting gas at the house. I use a Ryobi 1900 electric washer and the best thing about it is the fact that it's not too much pressure to where it destroys the plastic. I've gone over this in videos. It actually tears up the bottom of the cans and you end up having to replace them. And the sheer peace of mind. I can easily leave an extension cord in my car so that every time I go into it, I can set my washer up no problem. Cord IQ is incredible, especially if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments. Give Cord IQ a try for free. Just click the link in the comment section and the description of this video. Cord IQ is also the fastest way to send estimates, invoices, and secure payment from your customers, and even providing you with real-time business analytics such as close ratio, sales, and expense tracking. But good luck trying to leave gas in your car because you don't want to forget to fill up your pressure washer and you're trying to have peace of mind. Secondly, it's so much cheaper and doesn't put you in as deep of a hole as you think you would. The next part of my process requires me to use two chemicals as well as a two gallon sprayer. The two gallon sprayer is amazing. It's the perfect size to allow me to make enough of a batch so that I don't have to make it every time I do a job. I can just take from the one I made. And it's so easy to distribute the chemicals. Instead of trying to pour them out themselves, I just spray them on there. As far as the chemicals go, I use Zep Industrial Degreaser. The brand, of course, doesn't have to be the exact same. It's just the one that I've always used and I continue to buy because I like it. But I'm sure somebody out there can find a reason why this degreaser is not as good as this degreaser and this would be more optimal, whatever you want. Same goes for the second chemical that I actually use, and it's a 90 second outdoor bleach. This is just the bleach that I like to use. Maybe it's a little bit cheaper, maybe it's just more effective, who knows, I'm sure you could find a better one. But it's done a great job for me of releasing gunk from the trash cans and making jobs fast. The next part of my process requires me to rinse off all of the chemicals. After I let them sit for a little while, it doesn't exactly matter this specific amount of time, but you're gonna let the chemicals sit after you spray them on. Then you're going to use your foam cannon along with the turtle wax spray that you're going to put inside of it. This is the part where you're going to take the foam cannon, spray the freaking trash can head to toe. And then you're going to leave the soap on for about a minute, let everything spread out, let everything soak in so it starts pulling the dirt. And you might not think this, but it even adds a better smell to the trash can than before. So that's the end result. You want everything to smell great. The final piece that I add in, it's another chemical and it actually does add a better smell to the trash can and it's the finisher that you will not believe. This comes after I wash off all the foam that I've sprayed on. And the Fabuloso is going to come into the end and be poured directly into the trash can. I don't put it in a spray or nothing. I let the can be a little bit dry at the bottom or not, and I just pour it in. Then you want to make sure to close the can's lid so everything can kind of ruminate in there and the smell is going to start to spread. This has gotten me a crazy amount of tips, more than you actually would believe. And it shows the customer how clean the trash can is in comparison because you've now tainted to the extreme. Trash cans are the absolute nastiest thing somebody could smell, or even when you think about a trash can, you know you think it's something stinky. But with all the elements that I've told you and that you're going to take from this equipment guide, you're going to be able to flip it 180 and show them the opposite. And it's going to allow you to do very fast and effective cleanings. And all of this stuff has worked for me and it's worked for me on a very cheap scale and a very effective scale, making me a good amount of money. But of course you could spend a hundred thousand dollars and get a big old trailer to be able to compensate for you. But it's just not necessary. A lot of my subscribers have been struggling to get more customers or even their first customer, but I developed my own lead strategy that has gotten me my first $10,000 in jobs. And good news, my course is completely finished. If you guys want to learn my strategy of how I've gotten $10,000 in free leads that I can continue to service day after day after day, there is now a number that you can contact. Listen, the course is not going to be for free. I give away a lot of good information on this channel, but if you want to take your business to the next level or you're thinking about starting a business, but you don't know how to get customers in this course i'm going to teach you how not to get scammed how to get thousands of dollars in free customers that you can service on and on and on also how to talk to customers and make sure that you sell your service quickly and efficiently with my own personal messages that i've had with customers you guys can contact this number up here and if you send me the word strategy and we're going to get you set up immediately